It's okay. Don't feel bad. It happens to lots of men the first time. Just relax. I'll pour you a drink. We can always try again in a couple of hours, she said as she laid down beside him and caressed his chest. Can you believe they print this trash? Don't worry about it. You said you were going to tell me something about your childhood. Oh, yes. When I was just a young girl, my uncle took me on a tropical cruise. But there was a terrible storm, and the boat sank. I managed to swim to a deserted island with a young boy named Nigel. Together, we had to learn to survive. Fortunately, the ocean provided its bounty, which Nigel would catch every day. Later, I would forage inland for fruit and vegetables from the endless varieties of trees and bushes found all over the island. Then we busied ourselves chopping palm fronds and lacing them to bamboo with dried seaweed and snot. This not only provided us with a safe haven from the rain, but sheltered us from the relentless Santa Ana winds, which would periodically ravage the island. The years passed, and as we grew up, we began to notice strange new feelings awakening within us. There was no one around to explain this. We had to learn by ourselves. saw of Nigel. I spent months by myself on that island until I was finally rescued by a passing ship. I'll never forget my feeling of relief. You can't imagine what it's like to be separated from your family at such a young age. I think I can. You see, when I was about six years old, my mama took me on a trip to the city. We went to one of those big old department stores, and I got lost. They tried to page you, but the PA system was on the fritz. I never saw my mama again. Some people from the cosmetics department fed me a bowl of soup and some bread. Days stretched into weeks. One February, they got pretty jammed up during the semi-annual Lincoln's birthday sale, and they asked me to help out in preteen maternity. Then one day, I overheard a conversation in personnel about them needing a new jingle for the radio ad. So I picked up my guitar, and I wrote down a tune that had been mulling and creeping and crawling around in my head. It went something like this. <laughs> Tonight. Oh, thank you. 